Hi there, my name is Mike, and today I'll be talking about the CSS border radius property. This is a super useful and important one to know because uh, nowadays you kind of don't want sharp corners everywhere. Uh, sometimes it's nice for stylistic reasons, but you want to be in control of uh, how sharp your corners are. And it's actually super easy to do with CSS. Uh, so to get started, I'll make a little div, uh, give it the class main, and I'll put a little bit of text in there. So there we go, we've got a div. Uh, this has the class main. And so in our CSS file, we're going to access that with dot main. Uh, and uh, for the purpose of this, I'll make it a set width and height, uh, just so it's easier to see. So we'll go with a width of 300 pixels and a height of 400 pixels. There we go. Uh, and lastly, we're going to give it a background color, uh, gray. Uh, and that's because when you do this border radius property, it only affects really the background. Uh, and so like th this text will actually get cut off. Uh, so we'll do border radius and then we'll give it a value. Uh, if you're just given one value, this will apply to every corner. Uh, so you can see that that applies to every corner. And uh, if your eyes are sharp, I guess I can uh, increase this a little bit. You'll see that the, the lorem is getting cut off uh, by the corner because the problem with border radius is that it, it's only affecting really the background. Uh, and so the best way to fix this is to give it some padding. Uh, we can say 20 pixels. There we go. And so now we don't have that problem anymore. Uh, so yeah, that's kind of the most important thing to know. Uh, one last thing that is helpful with the border, border radius property uh, is you can actually do individual corners, if you so please. Uh, the way this works is it works clockwise from the top left. Uh, so it's top left, top right, top right, or I'm sorry, top left, top right, bottom right, bottom left. Uh, and so we just do this without commas. So you just do spaces in between. Uh, and so if we wanted 50 pixels, 50 pixels, so that's this one and this one. And then if we, let's say we wanted one on the bottom, we just do it like that. So 50, 50, 1, 1. Uh, and you can see that now the bottom is squared out. Uh, well, it has one pixel of border radius, but you can't really tell. Uh, and then the top has 50 pixels of border radius. Uh, so now you can kind of imagine if you wanted the top to only have five and the bottom to have 100 or something. Uh, same effect, but upside down. Uh, so yeah, you can change these however you want. If we only wanted the right side, then there we go. That's the right side. Uh, just remember clockwise, that's the best way to remember this. Uh, top left, top right, bottom right, bottom left. That's kind of a mouthful. Uh, but yeah, now you know everything you need to know for the border radius property, and you can confidently square off your corners, uh, or round off your corners. Uh, if you found this video helpful, please do leave some likes or comments or subscribes uh, down below. Uh, and just have a great day. Thanks for watching.